So this next lesson is about insect stings. So mainly bees and wasps. That's the most commonest thing we see in veterinary practice, uh, bees and wasps in the garden. So if your dog has been stung by a bee and you saw the bee, then you might have to look for the bee sting because bees do leave their stinger behind. Now, if you do find the sting, always take it out, but don't pull it out directly. Always take it out sideways, either flick it out with a fingernail or flick it out with a credit card because they've actually got a little barb on them. And if you trigger that barb when you pull them out, it actually makes the venom sac pulse more venom into the dog. So always flick it out sideways. If the bee or wasp sting was around the head, the face, in the mouth, then you've always got to be careful of anaphylaxis. You're more at risk of anaphylaxis if it's round the face and in the mouth. So if a dog's face swells, then it's an emergency. And it's especially a problem for the brachycephalic breeds. So that means anything with a flat face. So your bulldogs, boxers, Frenchies, pugs. Um, that's because their airways are so much more narrower than a normal dog. So their airways can close really quickly. Also with bee stings, their venom is acidic so you can try and treat it with something alkaline and the easiest thing is bicarbonate of soda powder add some water to it to make a paste dab it on and it might just help sort of readdress the the acidity and reduce the pain wasps are actually the opposite wasp venom is alkaline so you might have to try something acidic which is vinegar or vinegar and water dab that on it might just counteract the alkalinity of the venom if you didn't see what insect it was, then an ice pack can go a long way to help with the pain. Just make sure it's wrapped in a towel. You can also get minor reactions to insect bites or stings, and that's what we often call hives. So this is generalized all over the dog's body, lots of bumps. So it's easier to see actually on smooth coated dogs. If you ring the vets with hives, the vet might give you a couple of options. Either come straight down to the vets where we'll give a steroid injection, which will reduce the swellings, um, or monitor at home and give a Pyriton dose. The vet will always give you the dose rate for the Pyriton. So yeah, so that's the end of insect stings.